Hi guys, it's Mickey and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my July favorites. I have never done a monthly favorites before and I'm glad to start out with a try on favorites. I have never seen anybody on YouTube done this. No, I'm not claiming this. Y'all can do it if you want it. Y'all can claim it if you want to. I'm not about that life. But what I am about that life is showing you what the products are and hoping that to my best ability you guys try these out for yourself because every single one of these products are bomb to me they've been helping out with my acne and they've been helping out me being flawless so let's get started so the first product that i wanted to start out with a primer uh this is the cover fx mattifying primer with anti-acne treatment now i do have acne but it's been really toning down i'm so surprised i don't know what i'm doing i'm all i'm doing is caking my face up this is a mattifying primer but uh i really like it for the t-zone because my t-zone does get oily throughout the day and this mattifies your face like hell now the other one that i really like is totally a dupe to the smashbox primer this is la girls pro prep i love how they have like pro prep pro face pro prime stuff like that this is a hd high definition smoothing face primer and it basically is enriched with vitamin E and it fills in lines and pores, which I love as well. So I kind of mix these two today. Now for foundation, this is Hourglass's new foundation, the Vanish Seamless Finish Stick Foundation. Now this claims to be double coverage. So basically it's your full coverage foundation times two. And I believe it. This is the most full coverage foundation concealer I have ever seen in my life. So I also received a brush with it. Now the brush you have to pay for, but um, I was skeptical to get the brush because um, I'm like, eh, I don't really use brushes with my foundation. I either use my oval brushes by Venus and Back, which I absolutely love. These these are a favorite as well. Um, they are super cheap for a size of 12 brushes, I believe, or 10. I think it's 10. I'll leave it right here. And um, this is the most beautiful it feels like butter on your skin you will see me using it with my concealer but first for the foundation i love to use this brush i was so skeptical like i said this is a triangular little foundation as you can see so it can get right up in the pocket of the triangular usually people have triangular uh concealer i applied like three strikes each on my uh sides of my face and bitch it looked like a fucking yellow mask on my face so i had to return it how to get a new uh, color, but hopefully my face matches my body. I, I really like this brush with it, and I totally suggest that you get it. If you want to get a different one, then of course you can, um, but I suggest you try this in the store. For brushes, like I said, I love to use this for concealer. Um, I love to use these two and three. They are very small and medium that can get into the corners and then you know blend all over my face really well i like to use these with the la girl velvet bronzer contour stick i love this contour stick it's probably the most creamy blendable contour stick i have ever seen it is very pigmented but then again it's very blendable you can blend it out until you see nothing or you can blend it until your face is fucking botched and botched in a good way like this will turn your face into a whole nother person and i love it for that now uh for highlighter i'm just saying this they, they kind of go paired with each other this is the la girl highlight velvet contour stick and i love to highlight my face with this this has really no color and i think i read online it has like 10 shades are you kidding me uh either that or the contour sticks i'm not sure but if this has 10 shades or like three shades even though it literally has no color once you turn to the side you can see that sheen and i love it i love my face looking plastic so i really like this as well and i just use this with a beauty blender or a little brush now to set everything i have been loving can you not tell i'm in that la girl pro phase like i love la girl um it is slow slept on but i picked up two la girl pro face uh little powders this is the hd high definition matte powder and i totally believe that it is it is very high definition the bronzer is the most pigmented bronzer i have ever touched in my life this is called warm caramel and then the um kind of like setting highlight uh things like that 
I use buff. For a moisturizer, I've been really loving the Collabo Eophora. This is the complete moisture treatment, intense hydration, elation. I believe this is like $28 or $18 online. I've always posted the um, prices and the picture here. Um, but I really like how it's sensitive, skin friendly, fragrance free, and I used this before my makeup. I used it today, like I said, and it is really beautiful. It's clear, no smell, no active ingredients. This is really beautiful, and it can be paired with their Clubo Collagenerous Advanced Youth Rejuvenator. Uh, this is time travel for your skin in 15 days. I love this. Uh, I like to use this before bed so I can get the complete treatment. I don't like to use it before makeup. But I suggest you guys pick these both up. I actually have a giveaway that I will be uploading soon. So if you are interested, both of these products will be in that giveaway. Now, the concealer I've been really interested in recently is the Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I've, you know, heard all about this full coverage, anti aging, waterproof concealer, you know, vitamin C and K, all, all the buzz about it, right? But it just slips my mind. I don't care about this, you know, concealer that goes under your eye. No one cares, right? Well, bitch, you need to try this if you have never tried this. It is very full coverage. It makes me look like, okay, this is going to sound racist, but it makes me look Asian, and I really like that look. I love how I just look like I have no eyes. I love that look. Is that racist? I don't know. Is this good? Yes. For brows, I actually never have tried a brow product. You guys know, if you have been following me, that I use this, like, cheap gel that I found in Kmart. Like, what? So, another LA Girl product. This is the Inspiring LA Girl Brow Kick in Dark. I can't get any light brows. Um, do you see this hair? It's black, girl. It's black. Do you see these outfits? Black. Um, this is a very cute... Uh, let me blind you. This is a very cute little product. I love how there's four powders in there. There's a highlight, there's a wax, and there's two dark powders. One is more of the gray brown side and one's on the black side, but it's not completely black. I really like that. Then they have lighter uh, complexions. And then, bitch, and then they give you tweezers, a little brush, and a spoolie. White. White. And a mirror. White. And a little packet, wait, bitch, wait. I'm throwing this in my book bag every single day, girl, wait. And for mascara today, I loved the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. This is a sample size, but um, for Smashbox, I really like their mascaras because they are um, just so black and they don't get in my eyes. Uh, all other mascaras that I've tried, they get in my eyes, they irritate me, and the brushes are too big or too small and they, they just are clumpy as fuck. But this gets the job done and I, that's what I love. I have three lip favorites this month. Uh, one is the Lancome Le Crayon. I've used this in a recent video. I can't remember what video, but I really love this. This literally makes your lips look real plump beautiful that perfect mauve dark gray purple that's my style do you not see my lips right now so um i'd love to pair this and this is in the shade caramel this is called a lip contour and this this lip this lip liner is um like magical it doesn't run out like i've bought this two months ago and um, it, it stayed at the same size, so I don't understand, but thank you, Lancome. Thank you. And like I said before, I'm a cheap ass bitch, so I bought this at Farmer's Market. This is probably like $15 online. Bitch, I bought it for $1. What you gonna do? Next, I have the NYX. Uh, this is called a lip liner. This is in nude beige. I really like this. This looks like my lip color, actually. So I'm gonna be taking this to my summer pictures and making sure that I get that 90210 lip, if you know what I mean. And then, what a surprise, I have another LA Girl Matte Lipstick. This is a flat velvet lipstick. I really like the color, I really like the finish of this. This is completely matte, but it feels velvet on your lip. This is a beautiful, cheap matte velvet. I You could not go wrong with this color. And this is in the shade Snuggle. And for today's last favorites, Product. This is, what do you know, another LA Go product. This is the Pro Setting HD Setting Spray Long Lasting Matte Finish. Now this does have alcohol in it, so people who are sensitive to alcohol or people just don't like alcohol in their setting spray, I suggest you do not get this because immediately it does smell like alcohol, but it also immediately makes my face look 
bomb as fuck. Now, I also have another one that I've been liking. This is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. Um, that is an alternative if you want an alternative. Okay, guys, and that is the finished video. I am so glad that you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, I'm sorry. I can't please everyone. But all of these products will be listed down below as well as my social media. So please make sure that you subscribe and check out my Twitter and Snapchat for the update on this giveaway. Girl, I'm giving away six products over a hundred and sixty dollars worth of products um they're all skincare related because they are in my skincare video so there's going to be a skincare video that i'm going to go through all of the products will be be giving away and then a week from that video i'm going to be announcing the winner um probably in the description i'll change the description so uh hopefully you guys subscribe for that if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And remember, I'm not smoking pot. I'm just smoking hot.